Hello everyone, thank you for inviting us to the meeting today. Uh, one he says this solidarity uh, for the meeting, I hope you have a good meeting today. Obvious, um, you've seen what's going around the TVs about uh, McDonald's, where McDonald's strikers took place. It started in a movement in North America, 515, where globalisation, where people were getting proper hours, and where we were fighting for £10 an hour. We've, we've been organising for the past couple of years now um, around the country and it was, it was very hard to organise political me uh, workers into the trade union movement and we had about 40 members in two of our, two of our sites today for down Cambridge where they, they put some grievances against one of the McDonald's on one of the hours that were cut and also they were bullied if they joined the trade union and where what are called, we had no other option the union would have took a strike ballot and we won at 90.5% on what have called taking action. And obviously seeing the TV, the news, where it, it, it did make work with the press and it's made Parliament. Jeremy Corbyn is supporting it, the TUC is supporting it now. And what we're trying to do is organise more what called McDonald's what called workers into the trade union. On 4th of September, there was two what called strike actions on these two sites, but there were between 30 to 40 what other demonstrations around the country where people would have took demonstration, helped out the trade unions, supported by other what could trade unions, the RTM, the Five Gates Trade Union, various what could bodies were there to work with, support the what strike action um, and giving solidarity. One of the things what came out was the strikers were very young and that made a wonderful good impression for the trade union because there were young activists taking part into a trade union strike action in Britain today. Because the Bankers Union has been formed since 1847. In my time, I haven't seen a young striker going on strike, taking the companies on, putting grievances, and it was, it was a good thing. And A, we brought him into politics, and it's obvious these were the, two, the first two strikes. And it's a start, but what will happen, virtually we are working with other organisations, and what call, we will what call, carry on more what call, strikes around the world of country, to what call, McDonald listens to us and say we want guaranteed hours and also to recognise the trade union of the Bakers Union. We also want to call, try to work with other, uh, other, other areas, other people like yourselves to go back into your areas and to organise what call, workers um, to join what the trade union movement. You can go into the, our web page, you've got an organising toolkit, you've got uh, leaflets, and also what the union can what will support you on that side. There are some issues where what call workers are what call frightened. We have what call uh, like Ian Hodgson, Gareth Lane, Julie Sterry. They played a pivotal role in what call organising workers sitting in what call even what uh, like in Cambridge. We had organisers sitting in the shop all day, see if the managers weren't what call bullying our members because of the strike actions. We will be doing what call various demonstrations around the world of countries, if you've got various meetings, you know, obviously we can bring the young uh, strikers into it. They were here in uh, the TUC yesterday, uh, supported under various meetings. The thing with working with McDonald workers, they haven't got guaranteed hours. So if we call up a, a speaker from one of our shops and they will say, oh, George, we don't know if we, we're working today, if we're not working. So this is the hard thing we've got. So the union is driving to what it called, obviously the Labour government, what it called, supporters, John McDonald's was supporters into the Waterloo uh, the movement, get the Waterloo members, and get the Waterloo people at McDonald's a, a, a full-time contract. We also had, um, if you look at the CEO, he's on what called fifteen point one million. It works out what it called eight hundred pound an hour, where he's paying not even a living wage to Waterloo workers because they're on Waterloo uh, youth rights and various things around the country. What we're trying to do is uh, to build a profile with our Waterloo trade unions, also help our Waterloo uh, of, of groups, our affiliations, and also the support we've been getting. RTM is donated as we're a small trade union. We get a lot of support now, where we can lead our campaign into the second era, and hopefully to Waterloo get more Waterloo uh, strikes around Waterloo McDonald's, talk, that listen, and stop bullying people joining the trade union today. We also. Uh, Obviously, you've probably seen some of the Max Strikers wearing T-shirts. The T-shirts, what it called, um, you can get them from the head office. And, you know, it is a symbol and it shows you that solidarity. If we go around the country wearing these T-shirts, and what it called, we're not tarnishing McDonald's name, but we're trying to tell them, 
about the time you stood up and wanted to start listening to trade union and treating people with dignity and respect. We also um, rally around the country, so if anyone's got meetings, demonstrations, we'll, we'll, we'll have people out to come up there to uh, speak about how they want to carry out strike actions. But when you always look at it, it, it was the first time what it called young people took on the streets and you know, you know, we, you know I, I couldn't even believe it when we saw young activists standing on the gates five in the morning and virtually the shop in what it called uh, Cambridge, it, it virtually came to a standstill on that the, the strike action what we took. The two hours when we done the strike, it was the busiest morning when uh, the breakfast what it called, goes on, but that's their busiest part where they do it. And I think there was only four people that went in to go and get that breakfast from there. So obviously, McDonald's getting a clear message. It's out on TV. The social media's played a big part. Obviously, mom, uh, momentum helped us out. And they made a video, people clicked onto it. And uh, I think there was so, it went viral with so many. But one in four McDonald's workers did see that one good post. And they stopped putting comments on our uh, web page, our fast food rights page, who also wanted to join a trade union. So we have what a good working on. But the thing is that with the strike, we have learned a lot. We've got far, uh, a lot more to go on. And also, um, Obvious, uh, the people that played a part, it, it was a, it's a hard task when you go into McDonald's because the body, they got some, some got four hours, some got six hours, some got five hours, and talking to people, they don't get time. So, what happened is that we, we built up meetings, and obviously, uh, one of our organisers, Gareth Lane, he, he played a pivotal role. Ian Lodson, the, the national president, obviously, he took a lead on this work of campaign because it was needed, and you know. When we look at the young workers and the workers around this country, that they do need that extra support. And what happens is, uh, in what it called the trade union movement, we, we should what it called, all work together. If you go back to your areas, go and get uh, click onto all of the BFAW webpage. The organising toolkits on there. So go out there, leaflet outside. If you want what it called, the union organisers to come down, if you want a max striker to come down, talk to these people. You know we're willing to do that. But when we look at what it called, how we built this worker movement, it wasn't just built by one person. You know, like Helen Keener once said, you know, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much, and we all should do that. So, obviously, we are taking donations from, <coughs> uh, from affiliates who uh, would support the McDonald's, because the campaign at least costs a lot of money. And so, obviously, you can go to the BFAW, the Fast Food White Workers uh, webpage, and uh, you can get all the information on there. And, you know, I think it's, it's a start. And obviously, what a call when you look at the work of people that are taking a strike, the young movements came in. Obviously, when we look at it, obviously, we're going into politics now. And obviously, one day we'll sort this government out and get proper what a call McDonald's, big corporations like this to recognize the trade union and what a call give people the rights to be in the trade union, not to be what a call bullied or ass. So, that's uh, any questions or anything? Thank you for inviting me.